so hello everyone in this video we will see how to use table and from screen template that is recently released in the microsoft ignite okay so let's we use this template okay let's i guide you how to use this template and create this beautiful interactive visual okay so in this okay um you simply have to go to the screens okay in the screen just go and select the header table and form screen so in the table and form screen you can be see we will get the header by default okay as well as table control and the our <coughs> a form as well okay so what we have to do simply just go to the data source okay select on this add icon and add your table okay if you are using sharepoint so simply search your share point okay and in the sharepoint add give your data source from here okay select here your site and then list okay so in this case patch example is my site and <coughs> mock data is my data this data is generated from the mock apis okay so in this i simply go go to the item property going to the table and change this name to the our table okay so what is our tab, uh, data source name mock data so simply i just select this so it is loading so you can be see our data is loaded now okay let's i go to this error what is that let's we see here it is showing table so we need to remove this as well let's make it give our data name mock data simply let's select our form here is one error is coming so let's we go and select current item we have to go here only and select this yeah table name we need to change to the mock data okay, so let's we go to the play mode and select one of the item so if you see i selecting the first item so it is showcasing but this form is in view mode so view mode we not need this two button so let's we go click on here okay click here let's we go to the <clears throat> let's we first go and copy default mode formula from here simply i doing control c and then going to this container simply on the container visible property i am using this formula okay so let's i paste it here okay so form edit mode new mode equal to false okay so in this case first condition is true okay what is this edit mode is blank so we need to change here okay form no mode is here now so we may we have to make it false okay and other places we need to change this to true and here also we will make it true okay so let's test or it is working not okay so in the view mode you can be see the that item is not showing let's i click on edit yeah it is showing let's i click on new in that case also it is working fine okay so let's i check is the functionality okay so search is also not working we need to implement the search functionality so we implement that as well i will guide you how to implement so let's we go and select the logo here okay let's i use my logo let's change the screen name to the employee data selecting screen name and simply giving here employee details yeah uh, let's we select our table control and in the item simply data is present okay so we need to add here search function okay search in the search we need to give the data source okay and then give the comma it is asking text input so we select this search box copy this name control c let's we go to that error and simply paste it dot text okay so this is new control that's why it is showing us value then we need title 
column names so here let's we search what are the column names full name comma after that we need to search by company name let's i close this okay so here is delegation warning we are receiving okay so let's uh, use here add columns okay let's in the mock data let's we use here full name okay it is asking column name unique column name so let's we give here full underscore name that is our from our add column so let's we use here added so we should identify this okay <clears throat> then let's we close this okay and what is after that asking your full name okay full name yeah and now we need to give it here okay full name only. full name added so you can be see our delegation warning is removed now. let's we go to this error okay current item showing error invalid we will use a drop column and after this searching we will use here drop column okay drop column we will go and drop our column here okay full name added and just close this let's we go and remove this company name because we not we only searching on the full name for currently yeah and let's search here you can be see all the records related to j it is showcasing here okay so our okay so title is missing okay so here d tails yeah and let's save our app let's check the functionality okay let's see in the tablet view how it's look okay in tablet also it is working fine let's change looking correct let's check in the mobile in the iphone x yeah it is working correctly let's uh, check in the canvas okay so this is responsive app you can be see you can remove the <clears throat> what we say padding okay if you see in the mobile layout it is padding little bit showcasing but you can remove that okay in the top padding it is i think is eight okay so let's i do for you okay let's i go in the this is body container okay screen container 2 what is 16 okay this is starting one we need to remove body container slide container okay here we should make it zero let's see in the mobile view it's looking correct no still not okay for the this screen it is came but form it is not coming so in the for, for form also we need to select this container okay it is present in the right container main content right container left it is two only we need to go and select body container gap you need to change it to the eight only left right okay let's see how it's work now let's click on this okay so it is little bit fixed we need to make the gap zero yeah if i click on edit two buttons also coming so in this way you can create now the <clears throat> form and table screen in only few of the clicks yeah thank you friends if you have any questions related to this you can be asked me in the comment box have a nice day to you